The more our social and work lives move to the online world, the more we'll need the ability to send bigger and bigger files. Let me give you a few tips on doing so. Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and I'm a freelance video creator, so sending files to clients is a daily task I need to complete. I usually use one of the following methods, Google Drive. It's convenient because if you have a Google account, you have 15 gigabytes of free cloud storage where you can share files and they stay up until you delete them. I don't always like the fuss around uploading files and sharing them and then managing the files so I don't run out of storage space, but it can be very useful, especially if you purchase extra storage. We transfer. WeTransfer is a very popular way to send files. You can transfer multiple files up to 2 GB for free. If you need to send a couple of files that are individually or smaller than 2 GB, it's awesome. It might take a couple of transfers, but you won't have to worry about deleting them because the transfers are only available for 10 days. You can send them directly to email addresses as well as just creating links and sharing that to people. Now, the 2 gigabyte limit is very often not really good, and sometimes the 10 days availability is also a downside, but of course, if you pay for the service, you'll get to send enormous single files as well. YouTube. If you only want to send videos to people, YouTube is also an option. Just upload the video and set it to unlisted. Then you can share its link with others. The downside of it is that once you upload a video to YouTube, it will lose quality, so that's not very good. Now, in all cases, if you don't want to wait hours for a video file to be uploaded or transferred, a fast internet connection is a must, but you can always also compress videos, for example, to smaller size for easier distribution on the internet. Open up the Wondershare Uniconverter. On the left side panel, go to the video compressor. Import a file or files you want to compress. What we're gonna do is click Settings, here I'm gonna leave the format in MOV. I'm gonna choose variable bitrate because it will result in a smaller file size but with better quality. I'm gonna leave the resolution as it is, but I'm gonna turn down the quality here within this green recommended range. Of course, you can decide here whether you want a better quality or a smaller file size and you can move this toggle here depending on what you want. And of course, if you don't want the video to be in 4K, you can also drop that to full HD, for example. And once I have set up everything, including the output folder, I'm just gonna hit start all. So there you go, those are my tips on sending files online. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, you can reach us in the comment section. We're glad to help. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.